everyone this is poojita from talent battle in this video we are going to discuss the previous year quantitative ability questions that appeared in deloitte exam for consulting role as you know deloitte is going to hire 2024 batch students soon for consulting role this video will help you to prepare for that in this video we are going to discuss the exact previous year questions that appeared the average weight of 68 students in a class is 82 15 more students of average 36 join the class what is the new average of the class so what is the new average so actually there is a group of 68 students so number of students at the first is 68 and the average of them is 82 so how much will be the sum sum of this people average is nothing but sum divided by number sum divided by number of people so sum will be equal to average into number average into number number so here sum of this people sum of the 68 people sum of all the 68 people will be 68 into 82 average into number which is 5576 will be the sum 76 cases this all 68 people will be 5576 cases now a new people number of people is 15 or added 15 more students with an average of 36 So, firstly, what is the sum of fifteen? Again, same number into average fifteen into thirty-six, which is five forty cases. So, this people of five forty cases are added to this people. So, now we need to identify the new average. So, what is new average? New average will be equal to new sum. After adding them, how much is the sum divided by new count of people? So what is the sum for this? This value will be added now. Both of this has been added. Okay, which is six thousand one hundred and sixteen. We just needs to add both of them. Five five seven six plus five forty. After this, what is the count of the people before? Already sixty eight people are there, and now it was fifteen more people. So this both will become the count, which is sixty eight people and fifteen more people. So overall count will be. 83 so this should be divided with 83 83 so what will be the answer 616 divided by 83 will approximately give us 73.6 so even they also ask us approximately 73.6 was approximately equal to 74 so what's the answer option a 74 74 so 74 cases will be the new average of the people new average So you just needs to find the sum, sum both the sums we need to add it and divide it by the new count of people. How many people are there right now? So that will give us the new average. So this is one method of doing and the normal method. And if you want to apply the shortcuts instead of finding out the sum and all, all you need to do is whenever you are finding out uh, the group of people, if you are taking the group of people and finding out their averages. So it's nothing but two groups are there. So here, average one into number one plus average two into number two divided by number one plus number two. So here, this is number one, and this is average one. This is number two, and this is average two. So just substitute. Average one is eighty two into number one is sixty eight plus average two is thirty six into number. 2 is 15 divided by 68 plus 15 so this will also finally give us the same instead of doing that this will directly give us 6116 divided by 83 so if third group is there just add it plus a3 into n3 and here plus n3 how many groups you are doing you can do in the same manner you just keep adding it okay, so as of now answer option A seventy four kg, seventy four kg. In the given series, how many prime numbers are there, which are immediately preceded by an even number and followed by odd number? So, how many prime numbers are there, which are preceded by even number and followed by odd number? Okay, so how do we do prime numbers? Only we are supposed to focus. 
we want prime numbers. How many prime numbers? So it should be like prime number should be there. It should be preceded by even number. Means before the prime number, even number should be there. After that, odd number should be there. So this is how it should be. Even number, prime number, odd number. So how many times that happens in the particular series? We want to identify for prime number. So let's concentrate only upon the prime numbers. Okay, we want only prime numbers. So let's check only prime numbers here. Instead of wasting our time for checking all the numbers, we'll check only prime numbers. Okay, what are the primes here? Uh, first, 8 is not a prime, 9 is not a prime, prime 3 is here, 3 is a prime, this 3 is also a prime, 5 is a prime, next 1 is neither prime nor composite, do not count 1, 2 is a prime, 3 is a prime, oh. yes, and then 5 is also a prime here, 3 is also a prime, and again 5, 5, 3, 2, 5, these all are the primes we had, remaining all are not prime, 7 is also a prime here, 7. So, remaining one is neither prime nor composite. So, we will not consider it. Okay, now let us check. So, for this primes, for this prime number, the before one should be even and then the after one should be odd. The next one should be odd. So, for suppose if I take three, before one, nine is odd. Even number it should be. See, even, preceded by even, but nine is odd. So, this prime will not be counted. So, let's remove. So, 3 if I take. Before it is 8, which is an even number. Okay, even number. After that, it is an odd number. Yes, this 3 can be taken. So, 8, 3, 5 if I take. 3 is the prime number. Before is an even number. So, after that, it is an odd number. Even number, odd number. So, this set is complete. Perfect. So, I can take this one. So, this is one kind. Now, 5 if I take the next prime. Before it should be even, but 3 is not even. 3 is odd. So, this is wrong. Now, 7 if I take before even, but later it is not odd, it is also even. So, this is also wrong. Now, 2 if I take before it is odd, so this is wrong. If I take 3 before it is even, yes, 2 is an even and later odd. Yes, correct. This set is also taken. 3, 2, 5. 3 is a prime number, 2 is an even number and 5 is an odd number. So, yes, correct. So, this is also happening. So, 5 if I take before 3 is an odd number. No, before should be even number. So, this is wrong. 5 is wrong. Next 3 if I take before yes, even number followed by odd number. Yes. 6, 3, 1 is also a set we can consider. So this can also be considered. Next 5 if I take before even followed with odd number it should be but here it is even so this is also wrong. Before even, later also even, no wrong. Before even, next also even, so wrong. Before even, next odd. Yes, correct. This set is also correct. And this one before odd number. So, this can also be not taken. This set is also correct. 2 is prime. Before it is even number. Next it is odd number. So, this is also fine. So, how many sets are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4 sets. So, it should be like even number, prime number, odd number. Like this. Okay, prime number before it should be even. Later it should be odd. So, in this manner, how many sets are there here? There are Four sets. Option D. How many liters of water should be added to 30 liters mixture of milk and water containing milk and water in the ratio of 7 is to 3? Such that the resultant mixture has 40% of water in it. So we need to add some water such that the resultant mixture is going to have 40% of water in it. So let's see how to solve. So, firstly, total 30 liters is there. In that, milk and water is in the form of 7 is to 3. So, total 30 liters milk and water in the form of 7 is to 3. So, we just need to split it, 7 is to 3 ratio. So, we are going to apply the concept of ratio. So, how much milk will be there? The number of parts for the milk means this one. Milk and water is 7 is to 3. So, milk is 7 divided by total 10 into 100. Sorry, into 30 total, into 30. So, milk will be 21 liters. So, remaining will be water. We can take milk will be 21 liters. So, remaining leftover will be water. Or else if you want to do for water in the form of ratio, number of parts for water here is 3 divided by total 10 into 30, which is 9 liters. Or else just from 21 liters is milk, total 30. If 21 is milk, remaining will be water, which is 9 liters. 
9 liters. So milk is 21, water is 9. So this is done. Now water, actually what is the percentage of water right now? Percentage of water is equals to total water is 9 divided by total 30 liters is the mixture into 100. Which is nothing but 30 percentage of water is there as of now. 30 percent of water is there. But we need to make sure that the water content will become 40 percent. The water content should be 40 percent. Okay, so just do not imagine 10 percent should be added. So just 3 liters should be added. No, that will be completely wrong if you are going to assume that. Okay, if you are just going to assume uh, 10 percent, which is 3 liters, even though you do not have the option. See what happens if you add, you are not removing anything. You are just adding it. So for suppose if I add 5 liters of water. Okay, so 5 liters of water if I add, 5 liters will be added for this also. The main 5 liters of water added. So this will become 21 liters of milk is there. Okay, so 9 plus 5 is how much? It is 14. 14 plus 21 is almost 35 liters it will become. It will not be 30 anymore. So you cannot directly do like 40 percent is of 30. 40 percent is of 30 uh, which is 12. So 9 liters is already there. To become 12 liters, we need to add 3. No, that is completely wrong. And though you do not have the option. So how do we solve this kind of question? It is always just find out how much amount of water is there. Sometimes they will give you in the form of ratio like this. Or sometimes direct information will be given how much water is there. Now all you need to do is remember one thing. Whenever you are adding x liters of water. Okay. For suppose... Uh, let me just imagine water that are supposed to be added is equals to x liters. I do not know how much amount of water I am supposed to add. So I am just imagining water that is supposed to be added is x liters. So already 9 liters of water is there. So now if I add the x liters, the new water content, new water content will be equal to 9 plus x liters. Okay, so once if I add that x liters, then it will become new water content will be equal to 9 plus x liters. And the new total, the new total content will be equal to, the new total content will be equal to 30 plus x liters. 30 plus x liters. Whatever you are going to add here, it will be added for the total also. Okay, if you add 1 liter, it will be added for total. If you add 10 liters, it will be added for total. If you add 30 liters, it will be added for total. Okay, so x liters if I am going to add 9 plus x this will become and this will become 30 plus x liters. 30 plus x liters. Now at this moment the new water should be 40% of the total mixture. 40% of the total mixture. 40% of what is the total mixture right now? 30 plus x. Once if you add it after you adding it. The new water content, which is 9 plus x, should be 40% of 30 plus x. So, all we need to find out is the value of x. That's it. Value of x, we should figure out. So, let's find out. So, 9 plus x should be equal to 40 divided by 100 into 30 plus x. So, 0, 0 will be cancelled. 2 and uh, this is 5. So, let's send 5 this side and we'll multiply with 2 here. 5 into 9. 5 should be multiplied for both of them. 5 into 9, 45 plus 5 into x, 5x. Will be equal to 2 into 3, 60 plus 2 into x, 2x. So, 3x will be equal to 15. That implies value of x is equals to 5. The example which we took was correctly working out. 5. So, 5 liters. Value of x is 5 liters. So, 5 liters of water should be added so that after adding that, the water content in this is going to become 40 percentage. See, let us check. So, for 30 liters is already there. If I add 5 liters, that will become 35 liters. And water already 9 is there. 9 plus 5, uh, uh, already 9 liters is there. 9 plus 5, 14 liters. Now, if you check, it should be 40 percentage. So, 14 divided by 35 into 100. 14 liters divided by 35 into 100. See, satisfied 2s and 5s, 20s, 40 percent is correct. 
So one method is to do like this. Always imagine it is X. Once if you add it, it should be equal to whatever the percentage they mention, 40 or 50, whatever the percentage they mention. It should be equal to the percentage they has mentioned. Or else what you can do, you just need to cross check. But most of the students, when you are doing the option verification, they will do little mistakes. See, uh, first we'll figure out how many liters of water, nine liters. So for suppose if I add seven liters, nine plus seven, 16 liters water will become. So, and total will become 37 liters. Most of them will not take this 37. They will take 30 and check. So, that will be wrong. You need to add water, how much ever water, plus X, divided by total plus X into 100. That should give you the percentage. So, you can cross-check which option is going to work out. For suppose, this is like 16 divided by 37 into 100. This will not be 40. So, that's wrong. So, like that, you are supposed to cross-check if you want to check through options. This is also one of the method you can go through the options and cross check or else identify the percentage, equate the percentage and find it out. So answer is equals to option C, 5 liters. In an election, one of the candidates got 30% of the votes and lost by 210 votes. Find the total number of votes pulled. So we need to identify how many total votes are there. So let us imagine total number of votes are is equals to X. There are two candidates you can see. Let's just imagine A and B, candidate A and B. Okay. So the two candidates are there. Now, one of the candidates got 30 percentage of the votes. Means how much will be the other one? One of the candidate got 30 percent of the total votes, which is nothing but 30 percent of X. So the other one should be 70 percentage of X. That's over. Total will always be 100 percentage. So one of the uh, candidate is 30 percentage means the leftover will be 70 percentage. Okay. And then they has given you, he lost the election by 210 votes. What is the meaning of this particular word? He lost the election. See, for suppose if I got 100 votes and uh, you got 120 votes, let's just imagine 120 votes. So I will say I lost the election by 20 votes. I lost the election by 20 votes. What is the meaning of, uh, I lost the election by 20 votes. What is the meaning of this is nothing but the value, whichever you lost, if they mention you 210 votes, he lost it. Or if they mention you 300 votes, he lost it. That is nothing but the difference between them. If they win or loss, if they gave you, it's always the difference between them. Here I can say I lost it by two, I lost it by 20 votes. Or I can say you gained it by 20 votes. The difference between them should be 210. Okay, that means the difference. 70 percentage of X minus 30 percentage of X should be equal to 210. 70 percentage minus 30 percentage is 40 percentage of X is equals to 210. The value of X will be equal to 40 by 100 into 210. So, you can directly ca uh, calculate it. Directly take out the differences instead of doing this much. So, value of X will be equal to 525. Option D is the correct answer. 525. Value of X is 525. Next, uh, the ages of A, B, and C are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5. The, what is the, find the age of C after 5 years, uh, if the present age of all the, three, uh, if the present age of all the 3 is 90, means the sum, the sum of all the 3 is 90. It's not present age of all the 3, it's present is, if present is sum of all the 3 is, Okay, sum of all the 3 is 90. So, the ratio of the ages is 2 is to 3 is to 5. That means, for suppose, A will be 2x, B will be 3x, and C will be 9x as per the ratio. So, if you add all of them, it should be 90. The sum of their ages, the present, 2x plus 3x, 5x, 5x plus 4x, 9x. 9x is equal to 90 means value of x is 10. If x is 10, the present age of C will be 40, B will be 30, and A will be 20. 20, 30, 40. Okay, now our question, after 5 years, what is age of C? Right now, 40. So, after 5 years, it will be 40 plus 5. 45 years. Option D, 45 years. 45 years will be the age of uh, D, uh, age of C after 5 years. Right now, it is 40. After 5 years, 45. Option D is the correct answer, 45. Thank you for watching the video. For more of campus related updates or placement updates, you can join us through the social media platforms like Telegram group, Instagram page and WhatsApp groups. Link for all of them are in the description box. Thank you.